friends welcome again to another session on triangles as we discussed in the last session we are now going to dis you know solve more problems on the learned concepts okay so in this question it's given that angle bcd is equal to angle adc okay so let me start i'm saying bcd BCD angle 1 which is marked as angle 1 here is equal to angle ADC ADC which is marked as angle 2 and uh, ACB where is ACB ACB you can see ACB angle 3 is marked like angle 3 is equal to BDA so BDA clear it's given prove that AD is equal to BC AD is equal to BC now this appears to be fairly simple and angle A is all angle a is equal to angle b we have to prove it and i will add something from my side so usually this is the practice which you, you should follow that let's say there is a given problem you try to build on that can we make it little complicated now you'll ask why unnecessarily complicate the matters but that's fun no that's what mathematics is all about so let's see if we can complicate it by doing what i can i am thinking of this that and in fact, this is a property later on you will study that if I join A, B in this case, if at all we prove whatever is asked for and then I join A, B, then you will be astonished to know that C, D, C, D is parallel to A, B. Will that be right? So that's what I am exploring over and above what's given in the question. I will explore this. So before that. Let's first establish what's given and then we can explore further. So what was asked for? We have been asked to prove that AD is equal to BC. And now that you are equipped with all the congruence criteria, you can do it very easily. So as we have been doing, let's write first the customary uh, steps. So given what is given, folks, given. I know most of you hate this part, but actually gives a lot of clarity to the mind also. Because the moment you write all of this, it becomes easier to you know manage the data and hence navigate through the solution so what's given so it's i i personally like writing all these steps because it gives a lot of clarity to my mind so what's given mm, what's given in the given figure bcd so let's write that angle bcd and in that process i also identify those elements so bcd bcd is equal to adc right so angle adc that's very very good now Another one is angle ACB. ACB is equal to angle BDA. So don't just copy. Also, you know, uh, get that clarity from you know from the figure. So trace it out. So the moment I say ACB is equal to BDA, trace it out. ACB and BDA. Yeah, which is also highlighted as three and four. Fair enough. And we have to now prove that only these two things are given. By the way, okay. Now we have to prove that AD is equal to BC. Now, whenever we have to prove two geometry elements to be equal, what do we need to? If somehow we prove that they are congruent parts or corresponding parts of congruent triangles, our job is done. That's what I will look for. So, where is AB, um, AD, sorry, AD and BC? Which two triangles are the triangles where AD and BC are found out? So, AD is a part of ADC no doubt about it and bc is a part of bcd so hence if we somehow prove that these two triangles are congruent then by cpct we can always say that ad is equal to bc let's do that so let's take a uh, triangle a b a b c right a uh, yeah adc first and triangle a which one um not a Right, so see, this is what I was talking about. It gives a lot of clarity if you have written down these steps of um, the given facts. So A D C will correspond to B C D, right? So let me write B C D. Match it. A has to be equal to B, yes. D has to be equal to C, yes. And C in this, you know, in other sense, other angle C has to be equal to angle D. So this is what is uh, we are going to achieve right so in triangle adc what do we see guys we have these two angles anyways given so can angle one is angle two so for adc two is important so i'm writing angle adc anyways so in triangle adc angle adc is equal to bcd 
it's given i don't need to do much here bc bcd adc they are same correct now one angle i have achieved which is equal and you can also see this side cd or in this case cd is equal to bc right in these two triangles cd is equal to bc right cd was part of adc and uh, both are equal anyway so this is common side so no problems here common right what else what else can i say now can i say that angle a c d is equal to angle b d c s y because if you see 3 plus 1 and 2 plus 4 so let's write right so you can see angle 1 is equal to angle 2 given right and angle 3 is equal to angle 4 this is also given so if i add both of them one by one so angle 1 plus angle 3 should be equal to angle 2 plus angle 4 isn't it now 1 plus 3 what is it angle acd and the second angle is bdc b d c just by observation you can figure this out now so hence third here i can always write angle angle a c d is equal to angle b b c correct and hence what do we learn we know now by by what which criteria guys a s a congruence criteria you can say you can say that uh, what angle or triangle a a what a d c a d c is congruent to triangle um b a d c so b c d right congruent now the fallout will be that you can write the repercussions repercussions are what uh what was to be found out so a d so a d clearly so a d will be equal to a d will be equal to b c correct and why is that this is called c p c t right and also angle a angle a which angle a so b a c, uh, c a d so let me write fully let me write c a d c a d is equal to d b c angle d b c right this is what we got both of both of these results we obtained now as i said we will just try to complicate this a bit what is that complication so i've drawn a b joined a b okay so the moment i join a b can we prove that can can do you think that a b is parallel to so this is an extra exercise a b is parallel to c d possible possible this is a question so for that what we need to do let's see so a b being parallel to c d will give me what this should be angle one and this should be angle two right is that so so that's what we are trying to achieve tell me is that so is that so mm, before that a few things what all angle one is acha do we know that angle one is equal to angle two yes we know that is it angle one is equal to angle two why because of this this statement Okay, this statement says that angle 1 is equal to angle 2 because angle 1 was B, C, D and angle 2 was A, D, C. Right? See? This one. So, hence, I know that angle 1 is equal to angle 2. Okay? So, guys, if angle 1 is, is equal to angle 2, uh, then, achha, right now we don't know whether these are 1 and 2. So, let's do one thing. I am writing this as uh, 5. So, let me right this because we don't know we have to prove that these are one and two so hence let's call it x and let's call it y okay now and let me call this point o o right so tell me will do you think ao is equal to ob will ao be equal to ob yes it will be y see we already know that ad is equal to bc how we just proved it here here see 
we proved it so ad is equal to bc also ad right so you can say od is equal to oc why because angle 1 is equal to angle 2 so hence ocd becomes an isosceles triangle interesting now if you subtract these two ad minus od so ad minus od is equal to bc minus oc what will this yield this will give you oa is equal to ob the moment you say that oa is equal to ob what do you conclude you conclude x is equal to y so this will imply x is equal to y isn't it now if you consider this angle to be z so clearly this also is z so let me use this color here so that i can differentiate so this angle is z right guys so hence in the two triangles x plus y plus z is 180 degree can i write that and so hence 180 and 1 plus 2 angle 1 plus angle 2 plus z is also 180 in the second triangle OCB, OCD check in the second triangle OCD 1 plus 2 plus z is 180 and OAB x plus y plus z is also 180 so now this z and this z will go angle 1 was equal to angle 2 and x is equal to y so can I not write 2x is equal to 2 angle 1 right that means x is equal to angle 1 and tada, done so x is equal to 1 the moment x is equal to 1 and you can now conclude here so let me draw some boundaries yes so i get some space okay so what do we conclude if x is equal to angle 1 then clearly a b is parallel to c d this is interesting that means a b d c is a trapezium folks trapezium right that's interesting so we started from somewhere we ended up somewhere else so that's how so many insights can be drawn from one given problem okay so that's how you should be solving more problems whatever is given that's fine you you know arrive at it arrive at the solution and the result but also try to see whether we can really do something more about it hmm? what else um, there are many other things which you can prove from here for example uh, this is also an isosceles trapezium isosceles trapezium means the non-parallel sides are equal also the base angles are equal so if you see let me take this color and yes so this angle is equal to this angle right this is equal for isosceles trapezium also this angle is equal to that angle so there are so many things which you can derive from one simple given question that's how you should be solving problems my dear friends okay so let's take up another problem in the next session and let's try to make it more interesting okay i hope you learned something from this let's meet again in the next session bye bye take care